Watch this. I can blow up bubbles. Okay, watch. <laughs>
Eventually, she agreed for us to move into the big house with her parents. You'd think I'd be happy now that I finally got to live in the mansion like a real princess, right? But it was horrible. My grandparents told me how my dad had gotten my mom pregnant when she was really young, and they didn't approve of him or his family. So the only way they could be together was if they worked for my grandparents. Whoa! What? So you see, mother is rich. The rich parents, they don't like the new guy. They're like, okay, you know what? You can come live with us in the mansion. You can marry our daughter. You can have a child. We pay for everything, but you got to be the gardener. But I ain't never watered a plant in my life. But I do know my way around these hoes. Bella soon found out that I was actually rich and not just some gardener's kid. And suddenly she wanted to be my friend again. Her grandmother was friends with my grandmother, and she knew so much about what was going on, it made me sick. She told everyone at school that my dad had run away, but that it was okay, because now I got to live in the mansion again. And she expected me to want to be her friend? Yeah, right. Instead, I left a bar of soap on her desk with a note that said, use this to wash your mouth out. Huh, served her right. So there I was, a rich kid like I'd always thought I was, but with no dad. A few years passed, and still we'd never heard from him. I hate to break it to you, but I think daddy is dead. They got rid of him, buried his body in the garden. I haven't watched this, but that's just what I think. The older I got, the more I felt like there was something else going on, too. It bothered me how much my mom was fine with it. Oh, who knows when you grow up, so do your graphics. She went from zero budget cartoon to an anime character. But I started to feel like someone was following me. One day, I was walking home from school with my BFF, and we heard a rustling sound in the bushes. She just started running and left me there all alone. So I ducked behind a parked car and waited for my stalker to catch up to me. Gotcha! It ended up being a little old lady, and she almost fell over. I felt so bad and ran to help her and apologized. But she said it was okay and that I better hurt hurry home but she was staring at me in a really creepy way though who said grandmas can't be stalkers anybody no i didn't think so about a week later i was sitting in the park and the stalker turned up it was the old lady from the week before she turned to me and said i've been looking for you sasha mm. this was crazy how did she know my name she told me there was something of mine she wanted to show me and asked me to follow her but she said i had to be quick or they might see us together Bro, who might see us the fbi there is so much going on here. But she had taken hold of my hand, and for such a little old woman, she was seriously strong. Plus, she seemed harmless, even if she had been following me and knew my name. We climbed into a car, and she told the driver to hurry. Step one, never get into a car with a stranger. You should know this. I asked her what she wanted with me, and she said I'd soon find out. But I didn't find out. The car came to a stop, and I opened the door to climb out. But suddenly someone grabbed me and said that the old woman was dangerous, and I needed to go with them quickly. It all happened so fast, I didn't have time to think. Then I noticed my grandfather was in the back of the other car, and I got in beside him. The old woman was standing outside the house shouting, and as I looked back, I swear I saw my dad's face in the window. <gasps> Uh-oh! What is going on? I asked my grandfather what was going on, and he said that the old woman was crazy and had been following me. I then asked my grandfather to tell me where my dad was, and he said he was gone, and it was better that way. Oh, so he's alive! It sounded like he was dead, buried, scattered around the property, and y'all had just forgotten about him, moved on. I was going to take matters into my own hands and go there and find out what was going on once and for all. The next day, I went to school as usual and told my BFF to cover for me. I told her I wouldn't be long, but that if anyone asked, just to tell them I was sick and had gone to the clinic. I snuck out after our first class and tried my best to remember the way to the house I'd seen my dad in. How was an 11-year-old going to manage all of this? When I was 11, I could barely manage to figure out what bus I could go on to go home. Here you are, going through the city, walking by yourself. No one gonna say nothing. Nobody gonna report her to the police like a lost child over here. Couldn't believe I might get to see my dad again after all these years. Oh, never mind. She said all these years. She's probably like 15, 16. Okay, but still. I finally arrived at the house and it didn't look like anyone was home but still i knocked when no one answered i started to get nervous i ran around to the other side of the house and started shouting dad suddenly he appeared at the back door and grabbed me quickly and brought me inside i couldn't stop hugging him and he was crying it felt so good to see him again then he told me i'd better get back to school before anyone realized i'd snuck out and then i noticed all the photos on the walls photos of my dad and another woman and two kids did my dad have a secret family he saw me looking around and he said it wasn't what it looked like then what is it you got a whole entire secret family going on on the side i mean the kids are young or maybe that's why they kicked them out I'm i so ran confused. for the door and then i noticed the old 
old lady coming down the stairs. She looked so happy to see me, but I just ran right out the door. I started running down the street and that car pulled up again. This time my mom jumped out and told me to get in. I was so happy to see her, but I couldn't stop crying and asked if she knew that dad was cheating on her. Suddenly the other door opened and my dad climbed in. I told him to get away from us, but both my parents just told me to calm down and that I was old enough to know now. My dad is an undercover agent. Yup. He's a spy. Everything he's done so far is to protect us. My grandparents were really not happy about it because there had been some scary situations over the years. So that's why he'd left us. But he wasn't living with some other family. He was living with his mom, who just happened to be the old woman who stalked me. She had been looking for me because she couldn't bear to see her son so unhappy without being able to see me. So daddy is a secret agent, a spy. I wonder, does he happen to be Russian? Oh, and the pics of the other woman and kids were his sister and her kids. Oh my god, I had cousins. Then I thought to myself, how come they weren't crying at seeing each other again? Well, looks like they've kept another secret too. This whole time they've been sneaking behind my back seeing each other. Oh, I thought her mom was like crying herself to sleep. But no, they're just sneaking out. Is this necessary? Like y'all are adults. Do you have to do this? I mean, if it's part of the job. I'm still processing it all. It's a lot for a kid to take me in. Me too, I'm but processing it does kind of make too. me laugh. Can you imagine what Bella would say if she knew my dad was a spy? Now who's a loser? My cool status just went way up. If you're a spy, can you like not tell your kids like, hey, mommy, daddy work for the government. We spies. No, because they're going to go snitch. They're going to be like, oh yeah, mommy and daddy, they're spies. I think you tell your kids you do something else. Like, I'm an accountant. Nobody asks you what you do when you say that you're an accountant. I won't be telling anyone. Let's just say I'm a pro at keeping secrets now. So mommy and daddy lied to her for a good reason. Here I was the whole time thinking they just had some problems. Like, yeah, mommy has a lying problem, but no. Nope. All right, well, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that like button below. Ha 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 ha!